Okay, can you solve this basic math problem? Well, hopefully you can, and uh, let me go ahead and tell you what the problem is. Of course, you can see it, but what we have is 7 times parentheses, 2 plus 18 divided by 2 times 3, and parentheses. We want to get one value and simplify this numeric expression. And we want to do this without the aid of a calculator. Okay, you just want to use that supercomputer in between your ears right up there. This is much better than artificial intelligence. Remember, this is actual intelligence, much, much better than AI. And uh, I actually have a lot of confidence that many of you are going to be able to figure this out. Again, we're not going to be using our calculators, but a lot of you, unfortunately, may get this wrong and if you do get this wrong, it's probably going to be because of this very common misunderstanding, okay? And if you're going to get this wrong, I'd rather you get this wrong with me so you can learn uh, not to do this on, you know, a test exam. And we can kind of just get this uh, area of confusion, very common confusion, out of the way. But uh, this particular problem may surprise you when you see the answer. And uh, I'll fully explain this in just one second. Again, if you know how to do this, put your answer into the comment section. I'll show you the answer and then we'll go through this step by step. Now, uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And it really is my true passion to try to make learning math as easy as possible. So if you need assistance in mathematics, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so uh, were you able to do this problem? Hopefully so. Put your answer again into the comment section. Let's go ahead and take a look at the right answer. The correct answer is 203. Okay, so how did you do? Well, hopefully you got this right. And if you did get this right, I'm going to give you a nice little happy face and A+, plus, a 100%, and multiple stars. So you can brag to your friends and family that indeed you are a certified professional expert in the order of operations. Okay, that's what we're talking about, the order of operations. And for those of you that got this um, uh, wrong, okay, don't despair because you probably made this very, very common error. No big deal. We're going to correct that right now. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at the prompt. So here, we have a lot of different mathematical operations that we have to uh, consider, right? So we have addition, division, uh, multiplication. This is multiplication. We have these parentheses. So in mathematics, things like um, um, adding, subtracting, multiplying, dividing, and things like powers as well are what we call mathematical operations, okay? This is a mathematical operator, and these are various operations. Now, uh, it's, you know, it should be pretty obvious that, you know, we can come up with all different sorts of final answers here. Uh, it just all depends on, you know, how uh, or what order we take to do this problem, right? If we're like, well, maybe I'll add first, and then I'll multiply this, or maybe I'll multiply, then I'll divide, then add. You know, it all depends, right? And then we need to know the exact order to do this problem. And that's where this saying uh, comes in, okay? Now, this is a saying, and we pronounce this as PEMDAS, all right? And this saying's been around for years and years and years. Probably our great-grandparents were saying this way back in, well, my, <laughs> for me, that would be like in the 30s. But uh, anyways, this phrase has been around forever. And there is a nice little memory aid. And of course, I'll explain what this means here in a second. Uh, so you can remember PEMDAS. It is, and this is uh, what we call a mnemonic. It's just a memory aid. It is, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Please excuse, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Now, I don't know what Aunt Sally did, but we thank her for her cool phrase. All right, so please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. This is what you want to keep in mind when you run into a uh, math prom. You have various uh, operations going on. This is our checklist. This, this right here is going to tell us how to do this problem. Now, the way this works is we go from left. Okay, we start from the left-hand side. And we go to the right. We start here first, and we proceed uh, to the right, left to right. Okay. All right. So now let's go ahead and start talking about these uh, particular 
words in our little phrase here. So P stands for parentheses. So if we see parentheses, we're going to go there first. And parentheses can also be these type of parentheses, brackets or squiggly brackets. Technically, we're talking about things called grouping symbols. And uh, uh, sometimes a problem will not have parentheses. Sometimes a problem will have multiple parentheses. So you always work for the innermost parentheses first. And it's, I'm going to tell you right now, you have to do a lot of practice problems if you truly want to uh, master the order of operations. This is absolutely a, a critical part of all mathematics. All right, so we're going to start here. And again, we're going from left to right. Now, E is our next thing. So E stands for uh, powers. Okay, now you might be saying, why isn't there a P here? Well, because that would be like uh, a P, then another P. But powers is like this. 2 to the third power means what? 2 times 2 times 2. And of course, that is 8. Okay. Now, this is what we call power. This big 2 down here is called the base. This little 3 up here is called the exponent. So E stands for exponent, but basically you can think of uh, situations like this where there are, uh, is a power. Okay, so right now, uh, if you understand that, you're like, yeah, I get this, Mr. YouTube Math Man. Well, this is the part I'm going to show you next that so many students get confused about. So we have MDAS, and let's just kind of just... Uh, you know, tell you what these uh, stand for. This stands for multiplication, D stands for division, A addition, S for subtraction. So a lot of students, okay, think, oh, I must now do multiplication first, because I'm going from left to right, then division, then addition, then subtraction, okay? So in this scenario, in our problem, you're like, okay, multiplication next, so I would do this, and then this next, division, right? Because this is multiplication, and this is division. Unfortunately, this is incorrect. So you might be like, what are you talking about? Well, I'm going to uh, explain this right now. So the M and D is a group, and so is the A and S. You do whatever you see first from left to right. So if you see multiplication, then division, then we'll do multiplication first from left to right, and then to, uh, division. But if we see division, then multiplication, we do the division first, okay? So you could see that's our situation, and a lot of you very well could have made this mistake, and that's why you got the wrong answer, okay? But now you know why, and you're like, oh, okay, that's why, uh, what happened? Well, yes, okay? So again, uh, most of you out there that did, got this wrong, it was because of this error right here, and addition and subtraction works the same way, so it's whatever we see worse, uh, whatever we see first, excuse me, from left to right. Okay, so there you go, PEMDAS. Now let's go ahead and put this in action and do this problem. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is the P, right, parentheses. So we have parentheses, so we're gonna uh, go inside and simplify everything in the parentheses uh, first. So we're focused here, and we uh, look inside the problem, okay, and we're like, okay, we have addition, division, and multiplication, right? So now we have to think about that PEMDAS uh, saying and uh, ask ourselves, well, what comes next with uh, these uh, three operations, right? I have addition, division, multiplication. So you always have to keep that PEMDAS in mind. So what we have to do next is just go through a little mental checklist. So, okay, parentheses, yep, I have parentheses. E, are there any powers? No, there's no powers. So now, is there any multiplication or division? Yes, okay. What do I see first from left to right? Do I see multiplication and division, or do I see division and multiplication? Well, in this case, I see division first, so this is what I have to do first, okay? Because division uh, comes before, uh, before multiplication from left to right. So 18 divided by 2 is our first move. So what is that equal to? 18 divided by 2, of course, is 9. All right, so now we're down to 7 uh, times, parentheses, 2 plus 9 times 3, but we're not done uh with, um, um, you know, finishing what's inside the parentheses. So we got to continue on uh, and work inside the parentheses till we're all done, and then we could be done with that step, right? So the parentheses, the part of PEMDAS, that uh, P-E-M-D-A-S, you stay on this step effectively, you know, till you're done, you know, with everything inside parentheses, and then you just kind of continue on and on. Okay, so what is the next thing to do here? We have addition. And multiplication, hopefully hopefully it's obvious that we're going to do this multiplication uh, next. And that is what we're going to do. Okay, now, before we take that next step, 
I want you to take a step and subscribe to my channel if you have not already done so. It means a tremendous amount. Okay, I tell you, I'm so grateful to have a lot of people uh, follow me. Um, I get quite a few views on my videos, which is so exciting. And, uh, you know, but behind every one of those subscribers that I've uh, earned and all the views that I have is an actual real person watching. Okay, so if you're watching this video, thank you so much. And it means a lot. It really does help me tremendously uh, when you do subscribe. And if you do, make sure to hit that notification button so you can get my latest content. I'm pretty much posting math videos every day. All right, back to the problem. Okay, so at this point, Hopefully we're seeing this as pretty easy. So again, we're still working inside the parentheses. So we have two plus nine times three multiplication, definitely before addition. So nine times three is what? 27. So we're not done with parentheses yet. So it's two plus 27 is 29. Now, finally, we're done with uh, inside, uh, you know, everything to do with inside the parentheses. There's nothing else to do. So now we can start thinking about the numbers or the things outside of the parentheses. So seven, uh, next to this parenthesis right here, this is actually multiplication. And that's all we have to do. 7 times 29 is 203, and that's the final answer. Okay, so probably, again, if you didn't get this right, it's most you know likely that you uh, made this particular error with the multiplication division. Now, how would I know that? Well, you know, when you've been teaching math as long as I have, you know, I've probably graded maybe 10 million homework quizzes. Well, not that many, but you get the idea, right? You just see the errors over and over and over and again, you know, and you try to emphasize this in advance, but sometimes students, they just, you know, they are not focused enough, right? You're not paying attention enough. Remember in math, there's a lot of little details. That's why you have to pay attention. Math is a discipline or a game of focus. If you want to be successful in anything, focus is the key, right? Which means you have to limit your distractions, which means that when you're doing math or you're trying to learn math, you can't be on your cell phone, you know, on your favorite websites or uh, YouTube channels, unless it's this one, you know, and then try to learn math at the same time. You have to stay focused. And I know it's difficult. That's why uh, when you do study or practice math, try to get in the, um, an environment where you know you have you know uh, very little to no distractions, so you can concentrate, and you'll be amazed how much better you're going to be able to solve problems. Okay, now if you do need help with uh, this level of mathematics, check out my Math Foundations course. I'll leave a description or leave a link, excuse me, link to that course uh, in the description below. Also, I teach uh, you know the kind of basic order of operations in my pre-algebra and algebra courses, but I have a ton of all, uh, videos on this. Uh, topic on my YouTube channel as well. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.